the photos aren't fantastic because there's there's no models from across the globe. Um, nothing state of the art. There's no computer tricks. They're, they're just mostly shot with sunlight outdoors. They do tell stories though, your stories, and that that is what makes them so fantastic. Jaeger was playing around with his camera and we were in the living room and he took this silhouette shot and for some reason he really took a liking to this shot it was just really done just unplanned very impromptu photography the very word is sort of a translation of light in picture photo as in light Graph as in graphics, as in a picture, you put the two together, that's where photography comes from. The first two years of photography, I was terrible at it. I got like D's and C's on, on any photo or written test, anything like that. I was absolutely horrible. I just was not cut out for it. And then that third year of taking this course, the light kind of went off and it kind of clicked for me. My first paid job was um, a couple of things I did in school. From, you know what I mean? I might charge like 20 bucks. This shows you how I completely had no business sense whatsoever in school because let's say $20 to shoot something and to develop. Okay, let's go with however much gas to go develop and you're looking at at least an easy seven bucks. And of course I would want photos. So we'll double that, that's 14. Therefore I would make absolutely no profit and probably will lose. And for my first big job, the wedding job, uh, with Kayla and Tracy in 2005. I just got a call out of the blue one day from a good friend Chip who said, hey, uh, I think uh, my girlfriend's sister's getting married. They're looking for a photographer. You should do it. And I had to be coached into it because I was like, well, weddings, you know, if anything goes wrong and messes up, I'm responsible for that. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if I can handle the, the finality of, hey, if, print's not coming out right. Uh, these people don't have wedding photos. There's got to be somebody else there or something like that. My sister's husband's best friend, so I had to go with Jaeger. I got it. Got stopped at a speed trap in uh, good old Mac B, South Carolina. After getting there, seeing everybody, you know, uh, Kayla's family was great. They helped me go through shots that they had to have and things like that because I didn't at the time have enough sense to know who all should be in wedding pictures? Like, wh I knew the bride and groom. After that, I didn't know about family, this side of family. We just had to help some with the uh, lining up of uh, the pictures, the whole wedding party, but uh, it's your first time. You know, we're good. The wedding was fun. We got through it, and next thing you know, a wedding photographer is born. So I was hanging out with uh, my dad one day after getting a couple of weddings and some photo gigs on my belt. He's like, okay, well, you should go ahead and get a business license. And I was like, why would I get a business license? You know, I wasn't thinking anything about a photo deal then or Carolina's photography or none of that stuff. And he's like, no, no, go ahead and get the business license and, uh, you know, go at it. I was like, okay, well, cool. Um, didn't think much of it. A little while went on, my good friend Johnny uh, was looking for something to get into, a uh, business on the side deal, and it was South Carolina photography, what she came up with, and obviously South just got dropped, and I was like, how about all of Carolina? And uh, it was a little bit later on, my good friend Trine, she had already had her own LLC set up and was able to help me set up the Carolina photography name. What we wanted to do was go with Carolina photography, but that was already taken, Can you just give me one second? Uh. 
Now it feels a lot better. Ah. Doesn't like putting on a fedora and sitting down with a nice, cool, refreshing cup of water and listening to some music while I do stuff that needs to be done. Like maybe clean the cameras. These photos from Carolina's photography, in no way, shape, or form, are fantastic. They feature no models from across the globe and no state-of-the-art studios. Nothing fantastic about that. No backdrops, just scenery. In fact, what you're looking at are wedding photos that tell a story, a line that's blurred between portrait photos and modeling photos, and it's all available to you, starting at only $20. Now that is what makes these photos so fantastic. We also went into 07 pretty strong, started up doing video stuff and did our first uh, Carolina Photography TV spot in the summer of 2007. So 07 ended up being not too fun a year. I mean, had things just going wrong left and right. Not so much with the photo biz, you know, we kind of kept a steady course, but going into 08 and things I almost kind of quietly was just going to completely quit because things weren't really going the way I thought they would go and things weren't going the way I was hoping they would kind of go and <clears throat> for some strange odd reason I don't know what it is but the more you try to walk away sometimes and things just seem to instantly snap in place and get better so the more I was like okay I'm looking for other things to do apply for gigs over the places and other other mediums is like, well, there's a photo gig here, there's a photo job there. And you know, that whole entrepreneurial type deal is where if you're working, life is the greatest thing ever. If not, you know, you're also always up trying to come up with some other means or fits whatever problem is. You're not really sure where all you're trying to fit, but you're just trying to do something, anything to get something going um, when nothing is going at all. Can you explain to the viewers how that first haircut went down where the clippers got stuck? Yeah, he had like some kind of bird's nest situation up in here and it was just like a rat's nest, bird's nest. I think it was kind of like, <laughs> like ripping some scalp. Hey. We've come a long way. Yeah. I just woke up one morning and uh, had an email from a lady out of Texas and she says that she was threatening legal action against me me, myself, and Carolina's photography for uh, a video I made, the Nancy Jesse video. Carolina's. Yeah, you've reached Nancy Jesse photography. Hi, what are your rates like? My photos are for sale, not on sale. Um, right. Hold on, you hold do... on. Yeah, I got another uh, sucker on I'm, the phone. I'm still here. He sounds like a Hello? sap. He'll pay uh, whatever I, I feel I'm, like I'm charging him. Nancy Jesse started in high school. Um, originally, she actually was like a Yankee, and she had like a northern accent, and she then progressed into this redneck, terrible photographer kind of character that I just elaborated on and the trashier the better. There's a video that hit YouTube and somehow another this link went back to the lady is the video was titled Worst Photographer Ever and if you Google search it or something like that, Nancy Jesse was photographer forever, this lady's name was popping up. How in the world that happened, I still to this day have no clue. A couple of years later, I still really don't know. But I'm going in through my emails and it's just going on and on and on. The video's vile, it's filthy, it's disgusting, which you know it is. It's got a, a mature whatever thing majig on it. That's cool, you know, that's not your thing, but that's what we're going for. That's funny stuff to me, my sense of humor. You know, why well, didn't shove it in anybody for everybody to see. However, with it linking his worst photographer ever and this lady being a photographer, you can maybe see why that's a bit of a problem. <clears throat> hop on the computer the next day after sleeping on this bad boy and I'm like well geez I gotta be like the legal department now 
and I write our very long letter back, trying not to use any profanity whatsoever, when that's kind of your first initial response, but you know, you know it's just a simple, honest mistake. You know, I killed some links that might have been floating around on the web, displaying the thing was going viral, you know, this and that. Uh, Talked about the Carolina's photography and how our mission statement is to have some awesome photos for everybody and get them to people uh, at a good affordable price. And if putting a video on YouTube is kind of like a Trojan horse to get people into our stuff, you know, phrases like that. Trojan horse, I think I even got a Warshack test thrown in there. You know, anything to make it sound like I'm not quite as stupid as Nancy Jesse. Chick totally bought it. Everything was cool. I think uh, um, she even came around to being pretty much a fan of the stuff, which is really weird. I think that part was just sort of being nice. But whatever, cool. We got through that. Yeah, Jaeger shots is uh, it's pretty much where the shot callers hang out. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, it's fun. It's fun doing photos with you and um, hanging out with Jaeger, taking pictures. What's not to like? <laughs> Shaka was, um, it was, the photos are interesting. I like how he doesn't try to doll up the girls, he just takes them for their sassiness. Oh, the other girls are great, uh, even though I don't know most of them, and um, I'm sure they're fantastic because Jaeger doesn't associate with bad people. So I was just told that. I was on the shot caller list, but nothing else was explained to me, Jaeger. Like, don't you owe me something? That shot caller idea came about towards the end of 07, where I knew that one day I would advertise something and I wanted to have an annual thing on JaegerShots.com. So the shot callers was going to be my annual thing that I came up with. And I didn't really have anything to list too much except for all the girls that I've been working with and it wasn't like a, a looks thing, it wasn't a so and so's better than anybody kind of thing. What it was was who came in and, and ate it, which all the girls did at various stages throughout the last year and since 06 getting Carolina's photography started and helping me come up with things like the redesigns on the Carolina's photography logo that uh, Tree and, and friend Heather uh, came up with when they told me to put the palmetto tree and the crescent moon in there. And Jaeger Shots was kind of envisioned something a little bit different, you know, it's, it's kind of shaped up to be much more similar to everything Carolyn's Photography has, except there's no kids, uh, for the most part, on the Jaeger Shots website. And again, not that there's anything too crazy on this side, but it just Jaeger Shots and going into a daycare, say, hey, I'm Jaeger Shots photography, I'm here to take pictures of kids, it just probably it just leaves a bit of a uh, conversation piece that you don't really want to go into so hence why having a Carolina photography name is also very very important it's something else that we learned I just think it's great to have a photographer have three kids six five and two and we've had you know starting from the wedding photos Callie was there had pictures of her and um, just for the whole past five years um, pictures of me but most importantly of the kids so you know pretty much I'm sure what twice a year we've had photos done at least it was it really wasn't until I looked at all those pictures just lined up side by side I was like okay well you know the photos they're not really that terrible at all and I, deep down inside I kind of like them but I don't think I want to say that out loud this might be the first time and good thing there's videotape documented evidence of me saying that out loud because uh, you know if, if you like the stuff too much and what's the point of really keep going and trying to take more photos, you know. I'm, I don't think it's anything like super trippy as I'm trying to chase the perfect picture. No, 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 it's not, nothing like that, but really, uh, I guess put it under the heading of own worst critic kind of deal. There are a lot of enjoyable moments in life where you just want to have somebody around to capture the moment for you in just the right way so you can have that memory with you forever. And sometimes it just happens to be in a photo. Obviously, the girls and the models are 
whoever it might be, they, they always look great and folks seem to be pretty happy with the stuff that they get. So uh, that makes me pretty happy too. in there real fast that um Jaeger super great personality came from his mom Mary Kay what Mary Kay Hudson Hudson I thought you said hustler I was like okay well she told Mary me Kay things Hudson. but that's the other video <laughs> but uh she should be super proud of having Jaeger and as he should her as a mom because both great people oh thank you you have to fit that in somewhere she does say hey by the way oh I, I love God. her Jaeger yeah I'm sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> Drop that face if I'm 12 feet.